What is going on guys? BR Baller here. Welcome back to the show on Wall Street. I am your host, BR Baller, reporting live in front of the New York Stock Exchange on Wall Street. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's segment, which is the closing bell. You guys are watching live. As you can see behind me, all the numbers are in green. Another fourth straight green day. But today was the best day out of the week, guys. Starting, ending October strong and starting November even stronger, guys. The bull market is officially back, guys. You guys, now we can start celebrating as the celebration on Wall Street undergoes, underway, is underway. Uh, we do have a celebration on Wall Street. And um, yeah, as you guys can see me, as you guys can see behind me, all the numbers are in green. And the Dow Jones Industrials uh, jumps 550, jumps over 550 points for the best day since June as bond yields, as bond yields recedes. That means bonds are going down, guys, and stocks are going up. Um, guys, after uh, Powell yesterday uh, indicated that uh, there's no more rate hikes, the, more, the bull market's back on. Um, now, all good news eventually has to come to an end. Apple is down 4% in the after hours um, as Apple... Has 162 billion dollars in cash, slightly less uh, than last quarter. Apple stock uh, declines after uh, issuing uh, weak, weak guidance for December's revenue, and Apple is um, Apple is up two percent in today's session. Closed hot, higher two percent, but is down uh, over four percent in the after hours. Um, yeah, so Apple is down and it's weighing in on all the stocks in the after hours. As you can see, uh, Tesla's down uh, almost 2% in the after hours. AMD's down half a percent in the after hours. Uh, NVIDIA's down 1% in the after hours. Um, Amazon's flat in the after hours. SMCI is down over 1% in the after hours. And so is um, Palantir is down 1% um, in the after hours. But uh, yeah, so Apple, uh, they recorded strong uh, sale of uh, phones and service growth, but they uh, recorded um, a sales decline for the fourth straight quarter, fourth straight time. And, you know, fourth straight consecutive losses for Apple. Um, you know, it's unfortunate because now it's going to weigh in on tomorrow's market. The whole market is going to go down tomorrow and that's basically guaranteed as we know um, so yeah um, let's get into some stocks uh, Tesla up 7% today uh, Nvidia up uh, 4% today Starbucks up 10% today as US customers buy into price here drinks Starbucks beating on their earnings of course um, Palantir up 22% today guys um, strong earnings report. SMCI <coughs> um, is down 3% today after missing their earnings. Uh, but there is a strong demand in AI growth. Um, we have Peloton up 15%. AMC up 6%. So, and ChargePoint, finally. Um, ChargePoint's up over 15% trading at 288 we found a support level for charge point and charge point is look looks finally like it might hit three dollars guys charge point looks good jet blues up six percent to 390 uh every stock was in the green today uh thank god you know what i mean it's a celebration on wall street as we're underway and um yeah guys it's been a it's been a crazy crazy market um bull market's back on guys perfect week uh but that might come to an end tomorrow that might come to an end tomorrow as apple is going to drag down the whole market and that is you know um it's freezing so i gotta put my hoodie on guys it's freezing it's freezing it, i can't say it more it's freezing it's freezing it's absolutely freezing guys i just need gloves and that's it it's Breezy. Uh, now my head is at least warm, but guys, this is winter in New York City, as you can see. Uh, but the celebration is underway on Wall Street. I'm just joking, guys. But seriously, 
Um, Bank of America is twenty seven sixty two up a dollar twenty two cents, guys. But um, uh, that dog wanted to kill me. Uh, okay, so yeah, guys. Um, AMC. Let's get into AMC as their earnings are six days away and it's going to become imminent soon, guys. AMC. I'm nervous about it. Uh, always nervous for my favorite company's earnings report. Uh, hopefully, AMC goes up, guys. Um, hopefully, they beat their earnings. Um, I am, you know, concerned for tomorrow's market. I think the four-day winning streak will come to an end because Apple is going to 110%. This is something guaranteed. The market will go down because of Apple, and that's guaranteed. There's no other way to put it. Um, and you guys are gonna see tomorrow. When I record the closing bell, I'm gonna tell you guys, this is what happened, guys. Apple dragged down the whole market. And yeah, because Apple is the biggest company in the market. So it's like, if they miss the earnings and it's down, the whole market's gonna go down because people are, it's gonna make investors and retail traders just worried straight up worried it's gonna make these hedge funds worried um and you know so hopefully hopefully it'll just you know that one bad day will pass and then we'll restart uh but yeah guys apple's been you know usually it's been kind of off and on and off with these earnings uh it's been kind of concerning uh but we do have sofi uh going up uh sofi guys is my third favorite stock uh, guys, we have Macy's up over 1250. Uh, Macy's um, has finally been going up. Uh, I, I called it at 1150, guys. When Macy's was at 1150, I called it and I told you guys Macy's um, was going to be going up, and um, I called it for you guys. You know, so yeah. Overall, it's just been a crazy, crazy market. Um, um, today's forecast. Uh, it is zero degrees in New York City. Just joking. It feels like it's zero. Uh, because my hands are numb. Uh, my hands are numb. And um, it's freezing guys it's absolutely freezing uh we do have a bull market um for the major averages uh s&p 500 is back um to 4300 uh, wait did i even get into the major average guys i'm sorry i'm freezing i don't even if i'm repeating myself i'm sorry guys it's freezing i can't think oh my god it's so cold my hands are numb guys uh, the Dow Jones Industrials is up almost 2% over 500 and 50 points higher for today's session. The Nasdaq Composite is up 1.7% for today's session. Uh, the S no, sorry, the Nasdaq Composite is up 1.8% for today's session. The S&P 500 is up 1.9% for today's session. And the Russell 2000 is up over 2.5% uh, trading at 2.72% higher for today's session. The Volatility Index is down 7.17%. 7.17% for today's session as of, as volatility for the fourth straight day for this whole week appears to be declining. Um, wow, that dog is mad. As we have an upset dog. That dog is scary, guys. Wow. Uh, yeah, guys, so the market, uh, we're officially back in a bull market. Hopefully Apple doesn't stop that because the market's on a four-day winning streak, guys. This week has been perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Every day is getting better. Every Monday was up, Tuesday was higher. Uh, Wednesday, even higher. And Thursday so far has been the highest for the major averages and the broader market, guys. Um, you know, so Apple, I can't get into Apple enough. It's upsetting because it's just upsetting, you know? It's upsetting. Uh, it's gonna bring a lot of fear into the markets. I, w I will say there's every time we're going up there's always some bad news and we come back down and I know that's normal for the markets but it's been very consistent now especially with this volatility like like we'll have good news like this week if Apple if Apple had beat their earnings and the stock went up Apple let's say Apple was up 4% in the after hours the market would literally 
fly tomorrow. The ne like Nasdaq could probably go up two percent. Honestly, it'll probably go up over three hundred points. S and P five hundred. I think all major. I think the Dow would go up one percent, and Nasdaq and uh, S and P would go up two percent. Honestly, and Russell two thousand go up like two percent as well. Honestly, just because the market would fly, even the Dow would go up two percent. Guys, the market would fly. But now, because because we're now, before Apple had reported these bad earnings, the, the trend was up. You know what I mean? There was less fear in the markets because of the Fed, you know? And the market was looked like it was just going to continue to fly. You know what I mean? Not, it looked like nothing was going to come in its way. And now Apple has been in its way. Um, but as of right now, you know, because tomorrow has not happened, we are officially in a bull market. We are out of that. We're getting out of that correction territory. Um, you know, what I mean, hopefully we can regain those July highs, guys. Um, but second trading day of November of the new month is done, and it couldn't have been better. Uh, with the Dow having its best day since June, uh, rising uh, 570 points for today's session. Um, I want to get into my top five favorite stocks. Number one is Thicker Symbol AMC, uh, trading at that 1050 level uh, of six percent for today's session. Average volume is 20 million. Uh, market cap is 2.1 billion dollars and they have real estate everywhere and they're the largest movie theater chain in america uh earnings coming up this coming wednesday november 8th keep your eye out on amc we'll never go bankrupt it's here to stay it's not going anywhere which means it's here to stay and it will never go bankrupt number one is ticker symbol amc number two uh, is ticker symbol uh sofi s-o-f-i uh sofi technologies uh trading above eight dollars i think it's 820 right now very cheap high volume very very high volume around that 50 million average volume one of the most active stocks on wall street um and it is very cheap and i think they have good earn they had great earnings and i think it's on the way up uh ticker symbol s-o-f-i sofi technologies is my second favorite stock number three is ticker symbol m macy's uh trading at 1250 guys i called it out at 1150 macy's has incredibly high volume and is one of the best stocks to me uh they have it's november so they're going to be reporting retail earnings retail earnings so they're gonna it's their time there's their time to shine uh, macy stock ticker symbol m was uh trading around 35 dollars two years ago around this time in 2021 of course when we had that crazy bull market but now it's uh trading at 1250 incredibly cheap and we'll see where it's going to go from there macy's about a it's about a third of the price right now from where it was two years ago keep your out keep your eye out on macy's ticker symbol m third favorite stock uh, number four, I'm going to go with ticker symbol um, NKLA, Nicola, ticker symbol NKLA, trading at 115 I like it. Um, I like that at that $1 level. We'll see where it goes. Incredibly high volume. Uh, it is a risky, one of the more speculative plays. Uh, ticker symbol NKLA is my uh, fourth favorite stock. Number five is ticker symbol GM, General Motors, trading at $28. Uh, incredibly cheap and uh, huge buying opportunity there. I'm going to swap Nicola. So, uh, AMC, Macy's, uh, no, AMC, sorry, AMC, uh, SoFi, Macy's, number four is going to be ticker symbol NDAQ, NASDAQ stock trading around $49.50, about to hit that $50 mark, down over 20% year to date, uh, very oversold, undervalued, huge buying opportunity there, uh, 70 was the all-time high, we'll pass that very soon, always goes up over time, they make money regardless. So it's slush you got a little... They make money regardless, guys. Now. Now, I want to get into, so number four is charge point. No, no, no. Number three, AMC. Uh, oh, my God. AMC, Macy, AMC, SoFi, Macy's, uh, NASDAQ, and number five is... Ticker symbol NKLA Nicola. Number six is ticker symbol, uh, no, number five, sorry, is General Motors, ticker symbol GM, trading at $28. Number six is Nicola, NKLA, and then number seven, sorry, number six is PayPal, PYPL. And those are my top five favorite stocks, guys. Uh, five segments every single day. Uh, opening bell, pre market is uh, uh, 6 a.m. Monday through Friday, featuring your host BR Baller. 9 30 a.m. is uh, the opening bell, featuring your host BR Baller. 1 p.m. is the midday movers. Uh, halftime report featuring your host BR Baller. 4 p.m. is the closing bell, which you guys are watching right now, featuring your host BR Baller. 6 p.m. is the U.S. Futures, uh, featuring your host BR Baller. This is also what you're watching right now, also the Futures segment. 
Uh, and then obviously there's no futures and working on the weekends, but I'll still get up something good. I'll still get something up for you guys because I love you guys. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys go watch. Um, the, by the way, futures are down because uh, of Apple. So this is also, app, uh, you know, futures. Uh, make sure you guys go watch my interview with my Santoli right here. My first interview uh, title that I got his overall take on the market title. That video is interview with uh, World's Richest Man. I interviewed Jim Cramer from Mad Money when they were recording CNBC Live, Mad Money Live. Make sure you guys go watch that. And I got his overall take on the market title. That video is interview with uh, Jim Cramer. And then I got uh, when Peter bought me a bull, got me from bearish to bullish. Make sure you guys go watch that video. It, the title of that video is World's Richest Man Got Me a Gift. I love you guys so much. Please make sure to subscribe, drop a like, comment down below for new videos. Most importantly, subscribe. Peace.